Regina Police Chief Evan Bray said it's unlikely the federal government will have its gun buyback program in place to meet the amnesty deadline of October 30th, 2023. Bray said, I was just informed on a call the other day that it's 2,000 styles of firearms that are going to be included in this ban. That in and of itself gets very complicated because you're looking at the characteristics of the firearms. I think it's very safe to say we're going to have a long way until we can roll this out. I know they say they want to have this wrapped up by the end of October 2023, but I just don't see that happening. They still don't really have a plan about how this is going to roll out. The Trudeau government wants the firearms off the streets and will buy the firearms back from the owners. The purpose of the amnesty period is to give individuals and businesses time to comply with the newly prohibited firearms and shield them from criminal liability. Bray chairs the Canadian Association of Chiefs of Police Firearms Committee and said there are too many questions and not enough answers from the federal government to enforce the new firearms ban. Read the full story at westernstandard.news. You can become a Western Standard member for just $10 a month or $99 a year for unlimited access. Alberta Prosperity Project is dedicated to protecting Alberta's world-class energy sector and has invited Alex Epstein, American author of the best-selling new book, Fossil Future, to speak on the importance of fossil fuels and the vital role they play in our economy. Join us on Friday, October 28th at the Weston Calgary Airport for Beef and Beer with Alex Epstein. You will not want to miss this. Buy your tickets at www.albertaprosperityevents.com today.